Good morning, YouTube. I'm currently getting myself breakfast. What I'm doing here is I have Rice Krispies milk, like regular Rice Krispie cereal, and I'm putting a banana into it. This is freaking delicious. Shout out to my grandparents for showing me this trick when I was young, because I still freaking do this. It's delicious. Welcome to this week's vlog. I know I ended last week's vlog off on a weird slash crazy note. Just know that I'm fine. Everything is better than it was last time you saw my face. There's no need to worry much. Maybe one day I will let you know what happened and the crazy story. As of now, I'm not really planning to let you guys know. Just know that everything's fine. Um, so I'm gonna finish putting this banana in my cereal. I'm really behind on editing, so I'm trying to not necessarily like speed edit as in quickly edit and do a bad job. I'm just trying to like sit down. I've been editing for at least two hours. I'll probably at least edit for two more hours. I'll probably film today. I ended up going camping Wednesday night and I came back yesterday, Sunday, like midday I came back. It was really nice to just lay low, not have phones, just be with the people that I was camping with, kind of relax and Whatnot. All that relaxing means that I need to get my ass in gear this week and start catching back up and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't have a whole lot of plans today as of now, so I'm not sure how much I'll edit, but I will keep you guys updated, of course. Hi guys, so it is now almost 3.30. I edited a video for forever. It's uploading right now, so that's good that I could get that done. I had a lunch, thank goodness. It's kind of like rainy here today. Not so much right now, but it's been like a chilly day. Like, it's like 84 degrees today. I had some soup since it's a little chillier. I've been cold all day, like I'm in like sweats right now. And I made that poster sign for my mother. My mom's a teacher and she likes my handwriting. And so she like likes it when I like write her posters for her. So. I wrote her a cute poster. This is it right here. It's kind of like her like rules for her classroom. Good morning, YouTube. It is now Tuesday. It's probably close to nine o'clock, I wanna say. Got up, got ready, started getting stuff done. I need to film, I'm hoping to film two videos today. So that's why I'm already ready. I haven't had breakfast. I'm trying to decide if I wanna film first or have breakfast. Cause I really just wanna get like filming done out of the way i don't want to spend all day filming so i'm kind of thinking that even though i'm hungry i should just film now because i'm just ready to get it out of the way you know i'm not dying to film today my car is it's supposed to be ready today it's been in the shop for a complete week now which is ridiculous in my opinion for what it's going in for i've thought about possibly selling my car for a while now so last night me and my friends hung out we went to get dessert it was so freaking good we tried this cookie place and they had like warm cookies maybe i'll have that for breakfast not my whole breakfast but my dessert after breakfast because <laughs> i didn't finish mine because they were massive cookies they were warm delicious and so good and yeah, I was happy about it. Also update, I'm gonna wear the nose ring today. I decided as of now, I don't want to pierce my nose, but I like how flexible it is to put it in whenever I feel like. It's been like almost a week probably since I've worn this, so I'm trying to decide if it's like fitting correctly. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't think that I want this permanently as of right now. So this option is working really well for me. Plus, then I don't have to go through the whole phase of like, letting it heal with a stud. I just don't think a stud's gonna look good. This is my lazy way of trying to get some decent lighting because I don't want to open my blinds to get good lighting. Just an update for you guys. I did film two videos, go me. I went to Target. I picked up my car. My car was actually cheaper than what they expected. I only paid $360, which is still a lot. Got all that done. Went to Target, got some stuff. I'm currently wearing some new like sweat thing that were kind of expensive, but whatever. I'm in a spending mood today because apparently I need to buy tickets to a bunch of concerts and go to Target and waste more money, but whatever. And currently now I am in my bed watching Quantico. I just ate the rest of this delicious, 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 holy, 
chocolate chip cookie that I didn't finish last night from hanging out with the girls. Got my water to stay hydrated. And I'm just like really vibing with myself right now. I should be editing a video, but I'm just, I'm just gonna save that for later. You know, I just kind of feel like I need to release some of uh, my go, go, go mentality right now and chill. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna film for the rest of the day because I'm not doing anything exciting. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, YouTube family. Ooh, I don't know why I just yawned. I've been up for a hot minute. It's almost 11 o'clock. I currently have a video uploading. I edited the whole freaking thing this morning. I just feel like I have like a nonstop week this week. So got my car back yesterday. Today I'm going to Sam Smith. I have so much editing to do because I'm supposed to be going out of town. Well, not really like out of town. We're like doing like a little getaway for my mom's birthday this weekend. Just feels like there's a whole lot to do and not a lot of time. But next week's gonna be so nice. I'm gonna be so freaking productive next week because listen to this. So Kobe moved out, so he's one less distraction. My mom goes back to work full time. Well, she kind of went back full time this week, but it's kind of different. She goes back full time next week and Sabrina goes back to school next week. It will be me with myself all day long, which sounds really depressing, but that just means like, that's my time to get shit done. This summer has been really weird because before everyone was out of school, I was so freaking productive and I just was getting all these things done and I just love spending time with all of them. So this summer, it was hard to like focus in and get stuff done because I felt like I always could have something else going on with them. Back in like full productive mode next week, which is funny that I'm talking about that because the video that I'm uploading is all about productivity hacks. So if you have not seen that, I will link it in this corner up here so you can check that out if you feel like you've been slacking or need some motivation to be more productive because I am definitely ready to like start getting my stuff under control. I'm gonna go have breakfast because it's now almost 11 o'clock and I haven't had breakfast because I've just been trying to get everything done because I'm insane. So I wanna talk to you guys a little about a bit about my day yesterday. First of all, I wanna let you guys know, me and my mother made brownies and Rice Krispie treats right there. Delicious, delicious. I'm gonna have a brownie for breakfast. I just had a peach, so I am being somewhat healthy, but I am gonna have a brownie as well. Maybe something else, I don't know. It's like 11 o'clock, so it's like lunchtime. But I wanna tell you something that happened at Target because I was telling my mom about it, and she's like, Taylor, you're really passionate about this. You should tell this to YouTube. And I was like, Okay, why not? Sure. Mini story time for you guys. Walking around Target, you know, shopping away like one does at Target. It's like back to school time shopping right now, you know, it's like August. So people are there looking for clothes and this mom is there with her teenage daughter. She's probably around 16. So she's like still a minor, but she's like also an individual at this point, right? She can make her own decisions. She knows what she wants. She knows what she likes, you know? They're just clothes shopping and the daughter's like, hmm, I really want to try that on, like, that's really cute. And her mom's like, I don't think that your dad would approve of that. And she's like, why not? And she's like, well, it's skinky. And she's like, I don't think it's skinky. Like, I want to try it on. And she's like, if I tell you something skinky, it's skinky. She kept on just throwing around this word skinky. She just kept going on. And so I was like, okay, that's really fucking annoying. I'm gonna ignore it, whatever. She's not my child, just mm. me and the daughter both go to the dressing room at the same time. And I hear the mom say, do you want to come model everything for me or would you prefer to take pictures? Like, okay, maybe she just want to see it. Not a big deal. I want, I want to see my daughter look cute and shit too. The daughter responds that she wants to take pictures to show her. And she's like, okay, well make sure you get a front and a back angle so I can approve of it. And I wanted to go up to this, well, first I wanted to go up to the mom and then I decided that's probably a bad idea to go up to the mom. I'm gonna go up to the girl and tell her she can do whatever the hell she wants. And I was like, well, I'm not her mom. I, I didn't talk to either of them. I just want to talk to you about this logic really quick. First of all, just to get this out of the way because I want to really rant on about the other stuff, but just something to keep in mind. I thought it was so interesting that she said your dad wouldn't approve of this. Not her, not that she would disapprove of it because she's a woman. She wants to make sure that the man's opinion, because 
obviously men have the override everything. Men are what us women need to make sure that we accompany to at all times. Not saying that that was her intent, not saying that's how she meant it, but I just thought it was really interesting that she couldn't say, oh sweetie, I don't, I don't like that. I don't know if that'll look good. Oh, I don't know if that's good for back to school. She said, I don't think your father would approve of that. Okay, so that, that irritates me a little bit. She might have not intended it that way, so we're not gonna go on too too much about it. This is how I feel about that whole situation. First of all, slut shaming is horrible. Just because someone wears something a certain way does not mean that they're skanky, does not mean they're any less of a human, it doesn't mean pretty much next to anything. They just like to wear what they like to wear. It's in a way of expressing yourself, just like when someone creates art, just like when someone creates music. And even if this daughter wore something that was a little questionable, and it is in line with that maybe she does like to do sexual things, which is kind of a lot to assume, but in case those two things do correlate, that she wears questionable things and she does have a sexual desire like everyone in this world, why is that an issue? <laughs> Do girls like to be sexy? Do girls like to feel sexy? Do girls have a sex drive? Yeah, pretty much everyone does. Just, I was so flabbergasted. This mother is part of the issue why so many people have self-esteem issues. Because you look at a woman, or I mean in this lady's case, she looks at one piece of clothing, it's not even on her body yet, Just it hanging on the rack and judges someone by that alone. No kidding, women have so many self-esteem issues because we're judgmental as shit. Just the fact of saying th that's gonna look skanky to your daughter shows that you are extremely judgmental and you're part of the issue why so many people have self-esteem issues, which probably means that you have self-esteem issues and you're just further carrying that to other people by showing your daughter that it's okay to be that judgmental and that women shouldn't be allowed to look a little sexy sometimes. And you're teaching her to be judgmental of herself. You're teaching her not to respect what she wants in case a guy, God forbid, sees her as sexy. Like, I just have a real issue about this, okay? Why do we have to please men by what we wear? Shouldn't we be pleasing ourselves? Why do we have to care about what anyone thinks about it. Why are we slut shaming? Why are we teaching our daughters to be just as horrible as we are? Like, shit, you are teaching your little girl some like really bad habits. Not all of these points are probably running through her head. I understand that. Not everyone's a perfect parent. I'm sure she's done other great things in her life. It really upset me. I really got triggered very quickly and I'm, very proud that I had the self-control to not say anything to her or her daughter. It really freaking upset me. You are the freaking issue with white people and your daughter are gonna have self-esteem issues in the future. And that was gonna be the end of my rant because I know that was super long, but I just had to put it out there, okay? Let that marinate. <laughs> Hello, it is me again. It is still Wednesday. I took a shower. Well, I edited a lot. I took a shower, then I took a nap with wet hair, which is a perfect combination for a perfect nap. I just got ready. So here we are, ready for Sam Smith. My hair is still drying, but it's fine. I'm gonna go out to dinner with my mom on the way to go to Sam Smith. I think that maybe I'm gonna meet Kobe at his apartment before we go. Also, does my hair look more blonde than usual right now? Because in the viewfinder, I look kind of like blondie. Good morning. Why do I look naked half the time? I promise I'm not. It is now, what is today, Thursday? Mm -hmm, I think it's Thursday. We went to Sam Smith last night. I was so happy to spend some time with my brother. We're just like two peas in a pod, you know? I love him. It rained like crazy yesterday. There was like this one stretch of when I was driving to Kobe's place and it was just insane. But I survived. Utah is like the second driest state or something like that. And for the past week, that I'm sure is not a true statement because we've had like three or four storms, which is super rare for Utah and especially for August. I don't know, but I'm kind of digging it. The mountains yesterday looked so green and so gorgeous. I was like, thank 
you rain you're great good morning everyone it is now friday yesterday i kind of got everything done that i needed to get done for the week and so instead of like editing today or anything i'm kind of just rewarding myself I'm probably gonna stay in bed most of the day and watch my tv show that i've barely gotten to watch lately because it feels like my life has just been so go 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 i'm gonna have a lazy day which i'm really excited about last night me and Sabrina went out to dinner and we got Cold Stone and I ran into like four different people I knew. It was so weird. Good morning, YouTube. It is now Saturday and I completely forgot to end this vlog yesterday, but I did want to mention that I decorated my room yesterday for Halloween. I'll give you like a small little sneak peek. Um, I'll insert some pictures because I took some cool pictures and it's not like all lit like it was last night. I had so much fun putting this together. It's August. Let's see, what was it yesterday? Yesterday when I put it up, it was August 24th. Yes, it's early, but I'm just so thrilled for Halloween. And my plans didn't go through last night, and so I just decided, why not put up all my Halloween decorations now? I did it, and I feel so good about it. I do need to like grab a few other things just to like top it off and make it look great. For the most part, I really like how it turned out. It's so weird, so last weekend I went camping. This weekend, we're going to Park City and then the following weekend, next weekend, I'll be in St. George. I feel like I didn't have anything going on in August, like travel wise, because I got back from Canada August 1st. It's not like I'm getting on a plane anywhere. I'm just driving to everywhere I'm going, but I guess I have more planned than I thought I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for all your love and support and watching today's video. And I will catch you all in my next one.